Hey, I'm Colleen Taylor, you're watching TechCrunch TV, and welcome to a new episode of Cribs. I'm here in downtown Las Vegas in the Ogden building, and we're gonna check out Remotive, which is a personal robots startup. Um, one of the hotter startups here in Las Vegas, so I'm excited to take a look inside and see what it's like, play with some robots. So, follow me. Hello. Hi, is this a robot dog? <laughs> yes, the, he is a robot. He looks very real, his name's Bodhi. Uh, come on in, guys. So you must be Keller. Uh, I'm Keller, yeah. I am the CEO of Remotive, and this is our robot cave, or one of them. Nice. Cool, so come on in, I'll show you around. So this is our apartment where we kind of like play and eat. These are thank you letters from uh, kids who we've actually taught robotics to in schools. And then this is where the team eats three meals a day. Uh, hey guys. So this is Bobby. Bobby does accounting and quality control and sometimes cooking at Remotive. Um, this is Greg who helps us with marketing and James who does supply chain and logistics. Hey! So we're just cooking lunch, we're having carne asada tacos. A lot of times we'll work in here. This is where we eat three meals a day together. Um, it looks at the strip. We never have to go to the strip, but we get to like look at the strip from afar, which is kind of nice. And then this is just like a hangout space. Nice, and do you guys all live here? Yeah, so the whole remote team actually lives here in the building. This is a big like apartment complex. Um, so everybody, or almost everybody on the team works in the building. So for example, I live two floors below this. So I like roll out of bed at 8.55, uh, brush my teeth, and then I'm here for a morning meeting at nine. Cool. Yeah. What's that? What's that like? There's no excuses, I guess. You can't just pretend that. You can't yeah. Have if to someone work needs you, you're not gonna get away because they'll just come down. They know I'm in 19 if I'm not here, so they'll come get me. Um, it wouldn't work if you didn't love what you did. But we get to play with robots all day long, so I think it kind of like evens out. Cool. You guys want to go next door and see where the magic happens? I think so. Okay. Cool. Nice. You have a Nest thermostat. Yeah, we have Nest in all the units, so cool. we can yeah, dial it. We're definitely very inspired by Nest. So that's kind of our like play and eat space, and then this is our workspace. So we've found that it's very important to keep the two separate. So this is the workspace. This is James's office. <laughs> James, come here. Hey, you should come over here. Do you want to tell them what 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 okay. you do in here? One of my lower jobs is taking care of the housing for all of our employees. So these are tables and beds. Then we have apparel, we're almost shirts for all of our users. Those have to go out. Then most importantly, robots. Most importantly, robots. Where that's where I build and ship all the Gen twos. We're doing the Gen threes right now. These are all my notes for all the special orders we have to get. It. And uh, yeah, right now I'm just running around getting most of this done. <laughs> so there you guys go. That's all. <laughs> Cool. Uh, you can see it's messy, I do too much. <laughs> Thanks for showing us. Oh, no problem. The mess. Wish it was cleaner, sorry about that. No, it's good. So this is um, the re remote cave. Everybody who works in the common space, they are almost all software engineers, I think. This is my office. Uh, I have a table, and, and this is Patrick's soldering station. So uh, Patrick is our electrical engineer. So we yeah, write emails and build circuit boards in that room. This is the newest version of Romo that we just started production of in China. Uh, he is a robot that uses a smartphone as his brain. And you can control him from any smart device anywhere in the world. Uh, it streams video to the device that you're controlling from, so you can see everything that the robot sees. Um, you want to play with him a little bit? Yes. Cool. I okay, so here, let's put him on the floor out here. Um, and I'm going to let you give it a shot. So you can control him. So you, you can put um, an iPod or an iPhone on the robot itself. And you can control them from any um, iOS device, or you can control them through the browser of any computer. So, and what is the 
the point of this? Like, what, what kind of things can people do with this? Why would somebody get a Romo? So right now, we're really focused on allowing people to creatively play with the robots. So the idea is that anybody from age like six to age you know, 40 can program the robot and create cool personalities and behaviors and then share them with their friends. Um, so at the simplest level, you can actually, the robot use, can use computer vision to see different like flashcards and you can hold up flashcards in a certain order and actually just visually program the robot and then you can have him execute that code. So this is, you can really personalize your Romo, you can train him. Yeah, there are so many, like everybody who gets Romo, uh, you always have this reaction of like, wouldn't it be awesome if Romo did X? Or wouldn't it be awesome if Romo did Y? Um, so one of our main objectives as a company is like, you know, we don't have enough people here. Even if we were 100 people, we wouldn't have enough people here to kind of build all the things that people want Romo to be able to do. So we really just want to build the tools, like the, the, the blocks, and allow people to create their own unique behaviors and personalities. Cool. I'm yeah. going to try that. All right, give so, me a shot. So. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, and so it's looking. So think of yeah, think of that as a joystick, and you see everything that the robot sees. And it sees it's seeing our tech crunch TV people. Oh jeez. Okay. So I could be controlling this from if I Boston. were in San Francisco or in where. San Francisco, right? Yeah. And how much does this thing cost? One hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> oh wow, that's actually the first strike I've seen. Awesome. You're just you're just better. <laughs> Cool, nice. So you just started, so you've made these here. Right, we were building, so earlier versions of the robot, we were actually building thousands of robots here in our apartment. And I mean, we had robotics components, just like, it, was, it was like a tornado had come through. Um, and we would build them here by hand and actually walk them to the post office every single day in these big blue IKEA bags. Um, today, production actually of this robot just started in China. We could build about 50 robots a day here. We're gonna be able to build upwards of a couple thousand robots a day at, at this new factory. Um, so we're really excited because it's gonna allow us to scale and like, you know, send robots to more people. Well, anyway, it was great having you guys here and uh, I have to get back to work, but we're gonna have this little guy follow you guys out to make sure that you don't get accosted by any other robots <laughs> on your way, okay? All right, well, thank you so much. Awesome. This Take was care. great. Thanks, Colleen. All right, so we'll just follow the Romo. All right, bye, Romo. <laughs> just follow this guy. Bye, guys. Bye, Romo. I guess I'll just see myself out. <laughs>